Hello, hello, happy full moon. This is Jen P. Sano from Gypsy Moon Inc. Reminding you to tap in right now with me on this beautiful full moon so that you can grab the energies that it has to offer you. So this eclipse is stirring things up as often our full moons do. They bring us back home to ourselves and invite us to change. And that's so much of the work I do and that I wanna share with you that are tuning in is to transform life in all areas. I think so often we try to choose between our work life and our personal life and we have one life that needs to be integrated so that we can feel whole, so that not, we're not wearing a million different hats, being pulled in a million different directions, going through life, working robotically like a machine. So it really is an invitation. It's always going to be an invitation as long as you're here in this virtual space with me to step into yourself fully, saying yes Yes, yes to yourself. And I want you to remember this. When you say the word me, that means you need to take a note at yourself. Me, saying mental me, emotional me, and that affects the spiritual you and the physical you. It's all encompassed. You have all of this integrated together, yet we are so trained to segregate everything into all of these different pieces. And what that does is disconnects us from ourself. So as we step into the energies of this beautiful super blood full moon and lunar eclipse, I want you just to take a minute to get really honest with yourself. The full moon eclipse shines really bright light and it's shining on us, asking us to be truthful. And sometimes that feels raw because not only do we need to be truthful in our communications with our relationships, whether it be at work, at home, with our children, but most importantly, I feel that we need to be truthful with the communication and self-talk we have with ourselves. So I want you to think back and try to Remember where you were in December, how you were talking to yourself, how you were talking to the people and relationships that are part of your day-to-day -day life. This cycle is now coming to completion. So I'm sure when we were back in December, you planted the seeds, you've done some work, you've dug in, you kept going, you moved through the resistance, and now this beautiful eclipse is letting you know it's coming to fruition. So just honor that, honor the work you've done and how far you have come and what that looks like for you now today. And then I want you to just really intentionally step in and step up surrendering what else needs to fall away. Whether it's about that, that you started in December, or something that is really blocking you right now, emotionally, physically, or mentally, just letting it go, saying, here, universe, I'm handing it over. And then I want you to make sure that today you set some intentional actions and make a commitment. Be honest with yourself. Keep your word. Keep your word to yourself. How are you going to honor this process? Eclipses bring a lot of things up to the surface and they reveal the truth of all situations. And I want you to really think about that and allow it to come in. Allow those, sun, those sensations, emotions, feelings, allow them to come in however they need to. That is your, your, your invitation to transform. Anything that feels a little raw or icky, please don't push it away. Lean into it. And you lean into it because as you move through it, that's how you get through it. So there are times that will come up. It may feel like crisis. It may feel raw. It may feel like um, unexpected circumstances. It's okay. I want you to see it for what it really is. What it really is is an opportunity to grow stretch and evolve. And I want you to honor that for yourself. Just feel into that energy. When we claim challenges as opportunity for growth, it makes all the difference in the world.
That is mindset magic at its best. Okay, so with this full moon, with this eclipse, I'm just going to invite you to play with a couple ideas. Reconsider your beliefs, your patterns, the things that you've picked up that you're just ready to give away and surrender. I want you to remain open-minded when you do this. That's really, really important that you don't judge yourself for not doing it sooner or for still having an attachment to something that you so badly want to let go of. I want you to look at things as the observer. Don't judge it. Just take the information and do what you need to do. It's time to put on your big girl panties. Okay. Then I want you to really go deep within yourself. Take a moment of stillness. And I want you to think about what really turns you on about life. Really think about that. What lights you up? What is juicy to you? What is delicious to you? What can you talk about for hours? What can you geek out on? I want you to think about that. And then I want you to get really honest. Really honest. How much time do you give yourself to delight in that? So I'm all about bringing people into expansion on all levels, personal, business, emotional, mental, physical, wherever they want to stretch and grow. But you got to be able to claim more space for the things that light you up. Static living. And know that you deserve to receive those things that feel delicious, that you get excited about. You deserve that. So I want you to claim more of it on this full moon. And comment below, please. Let me know what it is you are agreeing to. Make a commitment to yourself, an agreement with yourself. I'm going to do more of this. And then I really want you to get honest because we talked about communication and, and how important it is coming up now, but always. And I want you to be really raw, really honest with yourself. What are the things you say to yourself? throughout the day that aren't so kind. That if somebody else said it, you might even get pissed off. Think about that. We talk to ourselves all day long. And if somebody else would say it, we would be pissed. And if that's the case, you shouldn't be saying it to yourself. So just anything that comes up that you know that you repeat. I want to eliminate that from that from your vocabulary. And it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in this moon cycle. But I want to set forward an agreement with everybody here that's watching that you're going to at least attempt to eliminate it little by little, consciously, consciously making a difference in your own life to eliminate that self-destroying self-talk. That is how we betray ourselves. It is self-sabotaging. And you wouldn't want somebody to say it to your children. You wouldn't want to have somebody overhear it saying it about you. Then please do not say it to yourself. And then lastly, I want you to be open to receiving more good in your life abundance in all forms, whatever that means to you, an abundance of health, an abundance of wealth, an abundance of love and laughter, money, all of it. Abundance to me is everything. Are you willing to start receiving? I think we go forward in life so much, just giving, 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 running like machines to the point of depletion. And it's dangerous for our health. So many people are in adrenal fatigue. It's not okay. It's not okay. Are you going to take a stand for that for yourself and step up for yourself in a way that is going to make life ecstatic, joyful, peaceful, in a state of ebb and flow instead of fight or flight? 
So many people are going upstream, fighting against everything. I want to put you in a state of flow. And if you're ready, I'm here for you if you need support. But this is enough little homework for now. So please reach out. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what intentions you are setting on this full moon so that I can witness you and hold you in my sacred space and in my heart. If you want more information about me and the work I do, please visit me at www jenpisano.com and I will put those links in the comments. Thank you so much and happy full moon.